Emily Steele of the Wall Street Journal here, who's going to tell us all about what happened in the blogosphere. And if you've missed it, I don't know how anyone would have missed this, but a, uh, a Goldman Sachs executive uh, wrote in a edit editorial piece in a newspaper up today that he was quitting after almost 12 years at the firm because he was basically, I, he says, I can no longer look students in the eye and tell them that what a great place to work this was. He wrote a lot more than that, um, a lot of other things that we will get into. Tell us what the reaction to this letter has been. So a lot of executives, a lot of people at Wall Street, in our business, in any business, woke up this morning, looked at their phone, looked at Twitter, and the first thing that they saw was all of this chatter about this Goldman Sachs crazy letter. Um, and this has been among the top trending topics on Twitter today. The different words that were trending were am quitting Goldman Sachs, Greg Smith, Goldman Sachs, and a lot of this just chatter has taken off. One of the most popular tweets so far is from a BBC business editor just saying that this attack on Goldman Sachs from the resigning exec is astonishing that the damage to the firm could be pretty serious. A lot of um, people are just commenting on this very public Well, it was incredibly uh, strongly worded, right? He said, he, he said people at Goldman Sachs he are calling their clients Muppets. Muppets. <laughs> yes. Muppets. <laughs> that was an, a lot of people are saying that the Muppets paid a lot for this paid placement in the New York Times. Is Muppets trending? <laughs> Muppets isn't trending yet, but it might be after this. It might, it might be after, I mean, the other, the other things he says, I, I give uh, a Goldman Sachs uh, um, culture quotient of exactly zero percent. The firm changed the way I thought about leadership. Today, if you make enough money for the firm, you will be promoted into a position of influence. And he goes and, through a lot of other and stuff. And that's what people on social media did. They went through the editorial and they pulled out kind of those very Tracy, very fiery quotes. Um, the Is other, it, uh, go no, ahead. go ahead. I was just going to say it's like amazing how fast this goes viral because by the time I woke up, my whole Twitter feed was Greg Smith, and I'm like. How, what did I miss? Who like, is Greg Smith? Smith? I was like, he yeah. was, he was the next Jeremy Lin, and I like lost track of these. Right, but it, was, it just published this morning, right. overnight, and then kind of this morning when you woke up, it went on fire. The other thing that's astonishing too is how quickly the spoofs begin. So, um, just a couple of hours later, there's this parody that is online that you should check out. It's Why I'm Leaving the Empire by Darth Vader. <laughs> um, and then the comedian Andy Borowitz said- So we love, we love. We love him. He's great on politics. He's, He's great on technology. He said, I hope that I too would have the courage to quit a job after 12 years with only $4 billion in my bank account. So that's- I, do, I don't think this guy had $4 billion in his bank account. I, you know, I'm sure he just had some number of millions, which I'm, is I'm, like I'm, nothing these days. So is this the, <laughs> is this the way um, to, I mean, is this going to calm down or is this go continue to go and run and run and run and run and run? What do you think? That's what we're looking at today because this whole morning it's really been on fire, but it'll be interesting to see if there's more to say. If, People from Goldman start tweeting. There's this um, Twitter call, account from the Goldman Sachs Elevator that's this spoof kind of comic account, but it really has been kind of quiet this morning, Shocking. which is interesting. <laughs> you would think that today would be the best day for it to really light up. You, you think it would light up there. Um, there is a response um, from Goldman Sachs that we have on our website now, and let me read you a couple of extracts from it. It says, uh, uh, needless to say, we were disappointed to read the assertions made by this individual that do not reflect our values. Um, and he says, uh, what do our people think of, of how we interact with our clients? Um, across the firm at all levels, 89% of you said that the firm provides exceptional service to them. Um, this, I mean, clearly they're hitting back hard, which isn't surprising really. You would expect the company to do that. Um, I'm thinking this is not really the way you want to write a resignation letter, is it? Is, is this, I mean, is this how you, if, if you ever leave the Wall Street Journal, are you going to be I'm writing a letter I'm going out to, in flames. are you going to write a letter to a competing newspaper and say that's how you quit? I mean, is that the way to go? And then Twitter sphere, is that, is that really? I think it depends on how much you have your bank account, right? Because. Well, it also depends too, if you even want to write a letter at all. I mean, Carol Bartz wrote her letter sent from her iPad. That wasn't necessarily published in the New York Times, but any public letter that people write today becomes, it doesn't matter where it's published. Didn't she get fired by text or something? Or some, or, you know, or uh, email or something? It was a call, email, and or? then she sent her note, her letter to her employees announcing her firing to, from her iPad, and that's what a lot of people on Twitter then picked up on is that letter. So that. so this, it's, it's notable that, I mean, the Goldman got a bit of a, a black eye after the great vampire s squid comment yeah. um, um, in, in Rolling Stone. Is this just more bad news for them in the sort of the public image? 
That's what we're really going to have to wait to see how it plays out. I mean, it's hard to say that it couldn't be after some of the it doesn't seem like a good news to have somebody going out saying they called our clients Muppets. But um. Goldman has been pretty aggressive though to say this is not us. The accusations he made are wrong. Well, what do you expect them to blah, say? Blah. Oh yes, we. This is how we are. I mean, they're hardly <laughs> going to say that, are they? Given the two choices, <laughs> deny true. it or admit it. I think that that would be. I think it's worth sort of pondering the nature of these viral things, though, that they tend to be sort of have about a twenty. 24 hour lifespan and even it's early true. this morning my Twitter stream one guy was predicting like by the end of the day Greg Smith it will have turned against him and the backlash will have begun before the end of and the day. And that's what you even saw happening with the Coney video last yes. week that the very first couple of days everybody said oh this is the best great cause all these kids are really paying attention then in the next couple of days people said wait a minute this group invisible children is so so bad we have to really look into them and then this week how much do you hear people talking about it? Just now, just from you. You're still talking <laughs> yeah, about so it. It, is, it is true. There you go. Thank you very much, Emily Steele.